Hello everyone. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the probability and stat. Today we will discuss about how you can find the probability of the event using the PDF probability density function as well as the CDF by the two different methods. Myself, Dr. Garth, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. So this is lecture number three related to the series on the uh, cumul uh, cumulative distribution function. The last two lectures which are available in my playlist, uh, in which we have discussed the various properties and how you can write the CDF with the help of the shortcut text. So what is the objective of this lecture is we will firstly construct how you can construct the PDF when CDF is given to you that is from the CDF to PDF and the second type is when you how you construct the CDF from the PDF are there and then we will try to solve this problem. So I consider this as a type 1 and then a type 2. So like of this so you can see first case is when the CDF is given to you and then you have to find the PDF and the corresponding probabilities. Second case is when PDF is given to you, you can see this is my PDF of the random variable and then you have to find the CDF and the corresponding probability. So we will describe the two methods for solving each of these problems. So let's start with the first one, when the CDF is given to you, then you have to find the PDF. Look at that, so you have to find the PDF from the CDF and then find this probability. That's a very simple, whenever the CDF is given to you, you have to find the PDF by using their derivatives. So what is the derivative of this? You can see 0 derivative is 0. What is the derivative of this is 3x square upon 16. What is the derivative is 0. So what is the domain is? Is x less than minus 2, minus 2 less than x less than 2 and is greater than 2. Now you can see this value is also 0. This value is also 0. I can combine them and write in a single way here. So this is the answer of this first part. Now how you can write this probability, so we will describe the two methods, one is by using the CDF, second is by using PDF. So whenever you are writing the CDF, so you have to write this in, so remember this rule, x less than here is, this is f of b minus f of a, that is upper minus lower. So whenever it is it's equality, that is again the same manner, because it is a continuous random variable, so equality does not matter, so both values are same. So I can write this value here. Now you can see 1. So you can see in the CDF, this is a capital F. So you have to look about here. Where the 1 lies? 1 lies in this case. So you substitute x value 1 is here. So it will be 9 by 16. Where this 0 lies? So 0 lies again in this case. So it will be my 8 by 16. So the answer is my 1 by 16 is the answer. So you can see within the two lines, you will get the required answer. However, on the PDF way, how you can do that? You have to integrate from 0 to 1, f of x, dx. So this small f is always my PDF. So that is you have to working on here. So from 0 to 1 lies in this case, the function is my 3x square by 2, 3x square by 16. Now you can integrate them. You will get the same answer as that. So always remember this by using the CDF, you will get the answer in the two lines also. Look at the another half there. Again, the CDF is given to you. You have to find the PDF. That is by using the derivative. So what is the derivative for the first part is 0. Second part is my 2x. Third part is 1 is 0. This is 6 by 25, 3 minus x. This is minus x. It's a plus. It's a 0. So you can see there are the domain is my 0 to less than. x is half, half to 3 and greater than or equal to 3. Again, there are the two values of the zero, so I can write this as a elsewhere and these two pairs as of this one. How you define this? Again, we will describe the two different method by using the CDF and the PDF. So firstly, I can open this mode value. So mode value I can return like of this. That's fine. Now, by using the CDF, we can write this value as f1 minus f of minus 1. And what is where is 1 lies in, in case of the CDF, that is here. So 1 lies in here. So it means you have to substitute the value of the 1 in this case. So 3 by 25, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 square is 4 minus. What is the minus 1? Where is minus 1 lies in here? So this value is my 0. So the answer is 1 minus 12. So it's my 13 upon 25 is the right answer. And in this case, you have to integrate from minus 1 to 1 f of x dx. So this is my fx. So you have to integrate this over the domain minus 1 to 0 and then 0 to 1. What is the value of the minus 1 to 0? You can see it lies in here. This is a 0. 0 to 1, it's my, sorry, again, it's a 0 to half 
and then from half to one so zero to half is my two x and this is my six by twenty five three minus x now you can see that in this case this value is zero you have to integrate them then upper and lower again integrate you have to use the upper element but in case of the cdf there is no need to integrate again and again once you know that you can simplify it you will see the same answer is there so that's why this is always be a preferable r theorem look at again another one now you can see whether it's a discrete or continuous you can see that but here you can see this values are my constant always be so how you check that the whether it's a continuous or the discrete random variable so for that we all know that firstly we will compute the probabilities at the single point by using this rule and if this value is zero for all these values of the xj what is the xj is that is a point of discontinuity that is a 0 1 3 and 5 if i compute this if it is zero all the values then it's a continuous why because we all know that probability at a single point is zero for the continuous random variable and if it is not zero for all then it's a discrete so yeah, what are the discontinuities that's a 0 1 2 and 3 so we can substitute here so this is my f0 what is the meaning of this is that is a 0 minus of h 0 minus 0 what is the 0 minus 0 is that is a limit of x approach is 0 minus so what is the value of this f what is f of 0 so it's a cdf 0 lies here it's a equality so this value is my 0.25 What is the zero minus is? That is a x of zero minus. So it lies in this case. So that is a zero. So two point five minus zero is my here. So which is a non-zero. So hence it is a discrete random variable. It is not a continuous random variable because it should be zero. How you can find that? This is again f one minus one minus zero. So what is the f of one? One lies here. So it is a point five zero. What is the one minus is? Left hand limit. So that is the left hand limit is here. so that is a point 25 so this value is my again point 25 similarly you can find the x3 and x5 you will get this answer so therefore you can write this value since now it is a discrete so you can write this table in this form you can see the sum of them is 1 so it's a pmf now once this is the same question now how you can find that so look at that firstly you have to identify whether it's a discrete or continuous so since it's a discrete So by using the first method, you can easily do that. What is x is three, so the right answer is point three five. What is x less than three? So these are the two values. So that's a point five zero. What is that? X lies between zero and three, so only the point two five. In this case, that is a one and three both, so it's a point five zero. One and five, so one and three, that's a point five zero. This is my first method by using the PMA. The second method is by using the CDF. We have to use this. now the first part is f of 3 minus limit x approach is this of capital f x so what is the f of 3 now it says capital f that's a cdf so f of 3 is here that's my 0.75 minus limit x 3 minus to so 3 minus lies in here 0.50 so answer is 0.25 you can see the answer by using the cdf or by using the pdf both are the same now how you do that now since it is a discrete so once it's a discrete then it can never be f of 3 because we all know that probability at a single point is not a zero for the discrete problem so that's why it is not be 3 so what is the right answer of this is it can be written as 3 minus 0 3 minus 0 means that is a left hand limit so what is the f of 3 minus 0 lies here so the right answer is 0.5 how you can do that again i can write this as f of 3 minus f of 0 but since equality not be there so i can write this as 3 minus 0 like here so what is the 3 minus 0 again in this case what is f 0 0 lies here so 0.5 and 0.25 is there here in this case you can see the equality appears so it is a f 3 and since it is a greater than we don't need the equality so f 3 minus f 0 so f 3 is my 0.75 f0 is my here point 25 and similarly for the f5 since equality does not appear so this is the required answer now you can see what is that uh, again it is a continuous random variable because how many points are there there are infinitely many points how you find the pdf that's a very simple you can take the derivatives you will get here
how you find the first part since it is a continuous random variable so continuous random variable means whether x less than 5 or x less than equal to 5 both have the same so i can write like here but if it is a discrete then you can't write like of this so what is the f5 so it's f f lies in this 5 this lies here so it will be my 1 minus 4 by 25 and what is the f3 3 again lies here so 1 minus 4 upon 9 is the required answer and in this case you have to integrate them so what is the integration of this this is nothing but small fx so small fx is my 8x cube so you can integrate them you will get the same answer so that's why this is always be preferable look at the second part is there now how you can write this in terms of a cdf so remember cdf is always less than equal to so i can write this value as less than equal to 8 so once it's a less than equal to 8 then it's a f of 8 so where is the f of 8 so f8 again lies in this case so 4 bond 64 so 1 will be cancelled 1 by 16 is the right answer in this case you have to integrate from a to infinity of fx so fx is my here you can integrate them you will get again the same answer look at one more example of the type 1 again this is a cdf you can derivative them so it's a 0 it's a 0 it is my half is here now how you can solve this again you can by using the two methods first method is by using the cdf we can write fb minus fa half is lies in this case so it values half plus one upon this minus half also lies in this case you will get the answer in this case you have to integrate from minus half to plus half of this by using this so both are lies in this case you have to integrate you will get the same answer similarly how you can integrate this how you can find the probability since it's a greater than you have to write in the less than form so where is that 2 by 3 lies so 2 by 3 again lies in this case so cdf is 2 by 3 plus 1 upon 2 is the right answer and in this case you have to integrate over the 2 by 3 to upper limit is my 1 so 2 by 3 to 1 is the right answer now look at the second case how you can construct the cdf when it's a pdf is given to you so like of here now pdf is given to you you have to find this probability and the cdf this how you can write the cdf we already discussed in our last lecture you can watch the shortcut tricks that is my here i can quickly go through that the first value is always be zero what is the previous value is that what is the common point is one so the value is zero lower limit is my one to x one to x the function value is my k times one plus x so once you integrate you will get the answer as here well how you compute then the common point is my 4 you can substitute the value of the x 4 you will get this answer second part is you can how you do that the same way you can write in terms of this where is the f of 3 so 3 lies in this case 2 lies also in this case you can substitute the values and get the right answer how you do that you can integrate from 0 to 3 2 to 3 of small fx small fx is here that is k times 1 plus x if somebody asks you find the value of the k so since for the cdf this value must be equal to 1 this value is 1 so k will be my 2 upon 21 is the right answer look at this one so again you can see intervals are my 0 to 2 so there are the three intervals how you define the cdf so cdf is either x less than 0 0 to 2 0 to 2 and greater than 2 first value is always be 0 how you find this is 0 previous value 0 plus 0 to x 0 to x of function 3 x square upon 8 so what is the integration of this 3 by 8 is outside x cube upon 3 over 0 to x so 3 will be cancelled out x cube upon 8 how you find the next value since the common point is my 2 so you can substitute this value as a 2 so that is my 8 upon 8 plus lower limit is 2 to infinity or 2 to x the function value from the 2 to is 0 so the answer is my 1 once you define the cdf now you can write this as of two ways one is fb minus fa 3 by 2 lies in here 1 by 2 also lies in this in this case you have to integrate over the half to 3 by 2 and then you will get this right answer how you find this x 
less than 1 you can write since it is a continuous so it can be written like of this way so you can write as f of 1 and then you can see 1 lies in here on the other hand in this case from 0 to 1 f of x of dx so f of x is my here so you can see that you have to integrate again and again in case of the pdf while you use the cdf there is no need of integration look at this one again you have to uh, find the cdf of this so how you can do that first value is 0 always so the previous value lower limit is my 0 to x what is the value of the 0 to 2 that is my ax so what is the answer of this if you integrate them it's a ax square by 2 so that is my ax square by 2 common point is my 2 so if you substitute here as a 2 so this plus limits from 2 to x function value from 2 to 4 this is my 4 minus x of a dx so it will be my 2a plus a is outside so it is 4 minus x whole square upon minus 2 and so on you will get here in this case this is limit is 4 to x and plus this is the common limit is my 4 you can substitute the value here as a 4 so 2a plus a by 2 this is 4 minus 0 and after, what is the value of the 4 to infinity that's my 0 so once you solve them it will be my 4a now once you get 4a now how you can find the value of a so you can see the 4a will be 1 its answer how you can do that that's a very simple you can write in terms of the less than where is the f 2.5 lies 2.5 lies here you can substitute the value of the x 2.5 you will get the required a you can substitute as 1 by 4 look at the last part so i can write this value in this form why because you can see firstly you have to define here 3 less than 2.5 greater than so what is the common portion in, in between them so you can see the common portion is this value is my common portion so this value is my nothing but 2.5 to 3 now how you can do that if you want to solve this by pdf you have to integrate from 2.5 to 3 or below is my from minus infinity to 3 however if you use the cdf that's a very simple f3 minus of this divided by here what is the f3 3 lies here 2.5 is also lies here so once you substitute you will get the required answer you can see how you can find again you can write the cdf firstly how you find the k you can see k by 6 is my 1 so that's the right answer how you find less than 3 so you can see this value is nothing but my f of 3 you can write right here you can see one more how you can find the cdf that we already discussed that first value is always be 0 next value is my 0 plus lower limit is my 0 to x the function values from 0 to is my ax so what is the answer is ax square by 2 and so on so once you compute you will get this cd a you all know that is a 2a is 1 how you write this in terms of the cdf you can write this value as 1.5 1.5 lies in here so this is nothing but 1.5 a minus a by 2 that's a 0.5 so 1.5 minus is my a so a is my half so the right answer is half how you do that so again how you do that you can see x is less than 2 x is greater than 1.5 so what is the common portion in between them common is 1.5 to 2 i can write this in terms of the cdf you can write here f of 1 f of 2 lies 2 equality is here so you can substitute 2 here 1.5 is lies here divided by f of 2 you will get this right answer so I hope you can simply learn this concept how you can solve this probability. So if you want to like, share and comment this channel, thank you very much. Best of luck students. Happy.